Okay, let's let's look at the twenty five k. I might I've obviously seen the hands before, but let's uh, let's analyze how he plays the twenty five k. Should we do that? You guys down for twenty five k? Okay, let's go. Are you fucking kidding me right now, dudes? This is the worst. This might be the worst call I've ever seen ever in a setup ever. Holy shit! Was it? That might be the worst. How many people make it? Shoving ace king for 40 bigs. How many people cash? He probably just puts him 100% on ace king when he does that. I, I need to know how many people are cashing to know how bad that is. Four seats by the looks of it, according to the chat. Uh... If it's the bubble, it's a terrible, terrible call, but I don't think it's the bubble. Um... It looks like it's really early stages. I don't know if it's that bad. Are you fucking kidding me right now? If he if he literally only thinks he has Ace King, which is pretty fucking plausible, uh, it's probably it's probably not that bad. Dudes, this is the worst. This might be the worst call I've ever seen ever in a setup ever. <laughs> Holy I'm sorry. Shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> that like, might I'm be so the sorry. worst call I've ever seen in my entire life in a satellite. <laughs> That is insane. That is so insane. Maybe, it's maybe Lex is saying that he's got some other hands in there, some like pocket kings or something. It makes it so, oh my god. You have to be kidding me. Four entries, yeah. Like he, like guys, he cannot call with fucking kings there. Like, wait, wait, wait. wait. I, am I misunderstanding the spot? What's going on? Me. I've got to, I've got to be misunderstanding oh the spot. Oh my god. You have to be kidding me. Oh, so the 298 entries. Okay, I, th I thought it was really early on in the tournament. Okay, so th this definitely changes things. 298 in the tournament, four entries to go. He shoves 40 bigs. The other guy's jacks. And the other guy has uh, 200k. So, th sorry, 30, it's 30 something bigs. Um, yeah, it's, that's a fold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's a fold, uh, but kings kings can't be a fold. There's no way kings is a fold. Like he, like guys, he cannot call with fucking kings there. Pretty sure that ain't true, but a as you were, brother, as you were. What the fuck is this? Okay. Hey, we hope you are able to squeeze into those tournaments as you schedule. All right. Get your conspiracy theories out in the chat, boys. One, if you think this is real and he doesn't know what this is. Two, if you think that he's actually acting and he knew exactly what was going to happen. One for real, two for acting. On Sunday, it's not so fun. Uh, what's going on? I mean, this is usually a good surprise. I'm going two. Let's, let's watch it. Let's watch it. What the fuck? What? The actual fuck? I don't know. The excitement's gone already. Was that just an Dude, initial- we're hoping you could squeeze another tournament into your schedule. Holy shit. Holy shit, we're playing the 25k. I'm... Holy shit. All right, I'm going with my read. I'm with you, I'm with, I'm with you in the two. <laughs> I'm with you in the two camp. It, it was definitely a good try. I mean, I- I don't know if I could do better. Let, let's 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 give it a go. Ah, oh, yeah. I don't know. It's pretty pretty depressing Sunday watching all these guys playing the high roller. Oh, we got a notification though. Let's see let's see how this is gonna go. We've got some notifications from Focusers. Hey, we hope you are able to squeeze another tournament into your schedule on Sunday. It's on us. Have fun. Please don't just be a fucking spin and go. Please don't be a spin and go. Come on, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Yes, boys. Yes, boys. 25k let's fucking go oh fuck me i was fucking dreaming of this happening all right so it looks like we've opened king x suited from the the position that doesn't even have a name mid position uh so we've got the you know cutoff hijack low jack this doesn't really have a name because it's so far away from the button guys one in the chat if you're folding this two in the chat if you're opening this pre-flop just so you know I'm pretty sure, unless there are some lurkers in the chat that happen to be phenomenal at poker, every single one of you should be folding this. Every single one of you should be folding this.
because you got to be wanting to play tight in these in these spots. Because these guys, Lena, Darry Poker, the fuck Malacca Star, fucking amazing poker players. You do not want to be open. Maybe if this guy's a whale, you can get away with it. Uh, looks like he's not. Um, but may but you, you really you really want to be playing tight in these things. So I I wouldn't even open this myself. Uh, I'm I'm even if it's slightly plus EV, I think that uh, stack preservation is much more important. Um, so if if I'm not opening, you definitely shouldn't be opening it. But uh, you know, I, I'm sure some regs will, will, will be opening this. I w I would open it from the hijack. I wouldn't even open it from the low jack. I know that's tight. I know it's tight, but that's my strategy in these tournaments. Wait for the good spots. So we, we see bet small, nothing to see here. Turn decision. Who is Lena? It's one of the best one of the best players. Guys, one in the chat. One in the chat if you want to check. Two in the chat if you want to bet. And if you put a two, you've got to say how much your betting git grunts is out in the check, boys. So we're assuming that the, these two are regs. Definitely a fair assumption. So the thing is, you either want to be trying to bet somebody off an ace or not. You don't want to be trying to bluff some like half pot sizing. You know, somebody's going to have an ace and they're just going to call you on the turn. So either you try and bluff out an ace by going huge or you check. Because there's no, there's nothing else. Why am I hiding my nipples? Okay, if you want to see my nipples, you see my nipples. Please don't report me. Um... <laughs> There's too many nipple comments here. Again, again, a bit freaked out. I think there's a couple of freaks in the chat. I got nothing against freaks. Um, so you don't want to be going six to ten percent. You don't want to be going two thirds. You don't want to be going. Uh, yeah, May maybe maybe once you start hitting like eighty percent, seventy eight percent, this might be the size where you can start getting someone to fold like ace, ten. Even even that seems too small. I, I think I think I'd check, and I, I would check, um, but. I can see an argument for going something like 60k, uh, where you're really trying to target him. He has like ace jack, it's 10, you're trying to target him. He's got like ace six, you know, hands like that. The the argument for checking is that you don't want to be putting all his money in a tournament, you know, when you're bluffing two people, somebody can still have a set, some can have two pair, you can have ace three that he's probably just gonna call the turn with. Uh, and also if you bet big, you're folding out if they do happen to have something like jack 10 of hearts, uh, that you have uh, potential cooler ability and stack ability on the river. See, I, I don't, I don't like this too much. Because we, we have a hand that if the river's a brick, he's just going to give up. He's just going to check it because he's got blockers to all the hands that uh, will fold. So this, this is the kind of hand that really wants to go either either big or check. <laughs> Alright guys, one to check, two to bet, and if we're betting, how much we're betting. Alright, so we got bet low a third, bet big, bet 74k, 149k, 18k, 90k. Some interesting ideas there. There's a lot of very different uh very different answers there. I like the small bet. Intuitively, I haven't haven't worked it out. I haven't worked it out. I haven't thought it through enough yet. But I'm because I've been looking at the chat. But I, I like the small bet. I think it's pretty cool. I think that we get a crying call every now and again from Ace Queen, Ace Jack. You know, if we go something like 15k, we sometimes get a bluff raise. Very possible. Not super likely from Pi Face specifically. Uh, and we definitely get a raise if he has something like Queen Jack of Hearts and uh, Jack Ten of Hearts. So or Ten Nine of Hearts, something like that. So I'm, I'm liking the bet a lot. Uh, I think that w there's a chance that we lose value from a set here. In fact, it seems pretty likely if he does have specifically pocket nines, uh, maybe pocket aces as well as in there. Um, that would be the downside to betting small, but I, I think I like the small bet. We get some crying calls from ASX, we get some raises from flushes, and we might get some bluff raises. I'm down, I'm down with it. But if you said bet big, Nothing against you. I've got nothing against you. Might just get hero called for some reason, even though it'd be pretty fucking wild to hero call there. Um, if you uh, if you said check, I don't really like check. I don't. I I, I think it's got too much ASX. Um, I think betting small is a lot better than checking. Um, I mean, Lex is a better. Uh, he likes betting. Pretty strong here. So I'm thinking about bet sizing, right? 
Like, it's unlikely he just has Ooh. his jack on the turn. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it at all. Oh, I really don't like that. Now when we bet, we're kind of repping a set plus. Uh, maybe even fucking just a flush. It's very possible we're just repping a flush here. Uh, so if he has something like 10-9 of hearts, he's probably just going to call. And now we don't stack 10-9 of hearts or jack 10 of hearts. Um, luckily, it's been long enough that I can't remember anything that happened in, in these hands. Uh, I'll let you know if I do. But... Uh, Sorry, I'm listening to Hannah saying it's beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I, I think you have you have to just try and stack a flush here. Like you, you can't you can't just go this size. He's just gonna he's just gonna call with these hands usually. Even even something like may, maybe maybe Queen Jack and Queen Ten of Hearts if he has them pre um, will will raise. But the the smaller flushes than that, I think they're just gonna call. Especially in a 25k, I don't know if he's going to go too wide. Uh, I mean, I'm super happy for myself, but I really hate winning hands against five, I'm not going to lie. What do you have? Girls with this, Jeff. Hi, face! You beast! That's wild. All right, I'm gonna say that Pie Face played it worse than Lex. <laughs> I don't like it at all. All right, guys, we've seen the we've seen the action. This is so much easier than learning from uh, Doug's stream because uh, we can actually see all the information here. Uh, I'll, I'll put it out there: Lex got more value from Pie Face's specific hands than I would have got in that spot. I would have fought a pre. I would have checked the turn. And I would have bet small on the river. <laughs> I, would, I would have got no value. I would have got zero value. I would have folded and be like, oh, I would have hit the nuts. <laughs> Very interesting spot coming up here. Eight four deuce. One to check, two to bet. And if we're betting how much we're betting, boys, get your answers on in the chat. Why did he call there? I assume he called there because he thinks that Lex is just going for it with some like random jack tens. But honestly, is one of the worst calls I've ever seen from a professional poker player. It's it's up there. It, the the assumptions that have to be true to make that call boggling, boggling. It's uh, yeah, it was it was, it was terrible. It's terrible. I like Pie Face. We met him. We met in real life. He's not a, he's not a no limit player, so I don't feel bad saying this. He did have a blocker. He had a blocker to the top set of aces. Very very pertinent. <laughs> Yeah, he won't mind me saying some short, but my face, that was a fucking terrible call. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> my student did that. I'd send him to the gulags. All right, so yeah, I like I like the third pot bet. Uh, there's going to be way too many hands from Lena to get value from. If the if the four was something else, or the deuce was something else, let's say, let's say that the deuce is like a uh, a jack or something like that, then uh, then we can definitely make some arguments for checking. Uh, but I, I like the band general. We want to be sea betting this size is a bluff a lot. We want to be getting value from these punks. If he raises here, we're in a shit a spot. Turn? Ooh, I don't know if it's a really good turn. You'd rather see a fucking offsuit deuce than anything than uh, than, a, than a queen of clubs, I think. Guys, let's assume that Lena's checking. He's going to be checking 100% of his ranger. One to bet. No, one to check. Sorry, one to check. Two to bet. And if you're betting, tell me how much you're betting. Get your answers out in the chat, boys. Yeah, you got you got to check her, I think. As sad as it is, as painful as it is, there's way too many flushes in everybody's range. Uh, I can definitely see an argument for betting. There's, there's an argument for betting, for sure. Um, it's just very hard to get called by worse, unless somebody has literally a set. Um, and that set would only ever be from this guy, because he didn't raise a flop. Or they have uh, something specifically like nines with a club. Might call like 20k. Might call 20k. They might not. Um, so I think I think check's the best. You obviously let them realize some equity with one club hands, which sucks. Um, but I think you just have, you have to check it because you're, you're overplaying your hand if you bet. And uh, you can get some pretty get some pretty nice bets on the river. The the downside to check, and this is a downside to check, 
is that if it checks rounds, rivers brick, then we bet he's in a position that could just fuck us rightly and mightily. Fuck, he's got pocket aces. I forgot about that. That's so many hands. I've only got the jacks or something. I'm, I'm a fucking fish. Uh, so there's definitely the downside to checking. Uh, if you bet, I think it has to be mightily small. Maybe even something like 12k. Checks good. Love to see it. Amen indeed to the maple syrup, my friend. Amen. Actually, say for what I'm about to receive, maybe truly grateful and thankful. Amen. She is very Christian of me, but uh, not praying to the Christian God. Just saying thanks to the universe. Then Hannah goes, yeah, man. And I go, oh, man. It's very cute. Oh, holy bluff catcher, Batman. <laughs> He's gone the size that means that our hand is now literally just a bluff catcher. He wouldn't even do this with, uh, with a fucking set. One to fold, two to call, three to raise. So Lena's bluffs here are going to be a lot of just like 4x, the like ace 4 with the ace of clubs, hands like that. Maybe ace 8 with the ace of clubs. Ace deuce with the ace of clubs, shit like that. I don't know if he turns the other hands, maybe like. Um, well, he doesn't defend the offsuit king x. He doesn't defend like king 4 with the king of clubs pre flop. So he doesn't have those kind of hands. So I, I think his bluffs pretty much unanimously consist of those kind of hands. Or maybe if he does just happen to be a lot more mental than I think, then maybe something like 8-7. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'd be very interested to know how high or low EV it is to shove here as legs. Imagine how cool it would be to shove. Just put all his like King X clubs, Queen and Jack X clubs in a really desperate spot. I think I prefer shove over. Oh, shove might be the worst. Shove might be the worst with this hand. Um, if you if you have anything with the Ace of clubs, then shove would be sick. It'd be really really cool. I don't think anyone would do it, but it'd be really cool. Um, I'm folding. I'm putting it out there. I'm folding. I don't think Lex is folding. I'm folding. Fuck it. The, the, you could really flip a coin on it for me, um, but I'm, put, I'm I'm fine. It feels like he might be under bluffing here when we can have all of the sets. Uh, we can have aces with the ace of clubs that look like they might hero call, stuff like that. And he's got two people to go through in a 25k. I'm, I'm leaning towards fold, but this is definitely a reasonable play. And what am I going to do? This is Lino, you know? Lino, 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 Lino. My internet's never been out longer than a second or ten. And the moment I lose connection. Lex is top of range. Don't don't matter. Here he is in terms of value. Um, but in terms of blockers, he's not. So GTO might even consider following there. Um, because he doesn't have any clubs in his hand, which are the, the main hands we want to be want to be calling with. The problem with having a, like the ace of clubs is that uh, we block a lot of his, his natural bluffs. So we might even want to have the king of clubs in our hands. Like kings with the king of clubs would be a lot better than having pocket queens there. Yeah, we just flat pre with queens. Queens has never been out longer than a second or ten. I'm. I don't think I'm ever just flatting here with queens. I don't, I don't know if I've ever done that. Pretty well. Pretty well. And the moment I lose connection is when I uh, when my stream crashes. So like the biggest. I like the check raise. Check raise is pretty legit. I don't like the timing so much. I think it would be better to take your time on it. But whatever. Checking the stream. I don't even mind sitting out for a minute. Flying Queens is a GTI play in low frequency. I don't I don't doubt it for a second. I just don't think that uh, these solvers are giving people good advice. Moved out of um, I was in Farnham before to Alton, but yeah, I moved out. Tom Wags die, I think for the ten months. Did your client health even a nineteen? Very interesting spot here. Very interesting spot. One to check, two to bet. Yeah, if we're betting how much, get your answers out in the chat box. So I wolf down this um, very, very tasty porridge. Here's my plan. Here's my plan. Bear with me. Bear with me on this. Hear me out. Hear me out. No, no, no. Hear me out. Hear me out. Check turn. If he bets small, we raise. If he bets big, we call. If he checks back, we bomb river on everything but a king or an ace. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three. Quick mess. How's that for a plan? Tell me that that isn't genius. So let me let me replay that in slow motion. 
and you have to make plans. You have to make plans for all eventualities if you're gonna be checking. So if we check and he bets something like 15K, you know, we, he might be bluffing with something like Jack 10 of hearts, very possible. You know, something like Jack 10 diamonds, lots of different combos out there. Queen 10 of spades, loads of shit. He might be value betting, pocket five, sixes, sevens, eights, nines, tens, etc. Very possible. I don't know if he's gonna go that small with a king. I think this is where people will probably play accidentally very exploitative. Sometimes he will, but I don't think he would very often. If he bets big, I think that he's very likely got us beat, or you know, he's deciding to go for a big bluff. I'm just gonna do check calling. And if he checks back, suddenly we can have king x and he can't, because he's no way he's checking back quads. We bet 150k on the river on a fucking blank on like a deuce or whatever, 150k, read it and weep, try and get called off by tens, eights, or whatever it is. Tell me that isn't genius. Tell me that isn't genius. The, the problem with this is that we've check raised so small in the flop, now we're not gonna get his floats to put in any more money into the pot. I'm, uh, I'm not a big fan of the sizing, just, uh, just because of that. And I, I think that if you if you go for a bet here, you, you wanna be targeting, you know, jacks through fives and his forex, and you wanna be going like 38K or something, some, some, some very big number. You know, you're, you're polarizing here, you're saying, hey, I've either got a big pair or a king, or I'm bluffing. So, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's too much value in, in going this size with this hand. I could see this size maybe with some bluffs and maybe with some pocket sixes or something like that, but I don't like it. I have a lot of kings, so I don't have to worry here about being capped to where it's like, I don't have to worry to be in a situation there where it's like, oh, well, I have all the kings, so I'm just gonna raise you, shove the river, right? I have more kings than he does because I'm in the big blind and I'm defending tons of offsuit kings, tons of suit of kings that he doesn't open. It's true, it's true. I think he might be focusing a bit too much on uh, a small portion of what's uh, important what's in that. Hand. I like the fullback. Go down to fullback with King Nine King Ten suits. Alright, too bad. Fullback bluff didn't work, but hey, you know it's good that I take him when I need him. I really like that it's a fast dish structure. I mean, it's play the same sizing. Um, might get a little bit smaller, but roughly the same, maybe 23 bigs. Um, I guess this guy's a good reg because the label that he's got is the same as Dari Poga, but not a super reg because it's not the same as them. Um, I'm pretty much never limping the, these kind of hands out of the small blind. I'm pure raising it, but I know GTO. Probably wants you to mix yeah, or whatever. So significant already. But the thing is, everyone's solvers are saying different things these days. I'm a big fan of these kind of hands that are very happy to call a three bet of raising, just trying to take it down, not giving his fucking like seven deuce offs and three deuce offs a chance to out outdraw us. Um, and uh, yeah, just uh, taking the initiative. Big fan of it, but you do you. I have no idea what's best. No idea what's best. There's a guy that's in my um, coaching class coaching group, the Charmanders, that is, uh, he's like 100% limping. Uh, he's not He's not RFIing, he's not raising any hands, as far as I'm aware. And he's crushing, he's crushing the, the mid stakes. And the first thing that some of my students said to him was, no, I don't like it, stop it, I don't like it. And the first thing I said was, I have no idea if that's any good or not, but I, I really wanna find out and I really wanna look at how you're playing and see if I can integrate any of that into my own game. And I think that's how you have to look at these things. You know, you can't be so sure that raising 2.2x is better than raising 3x, or that raising or the limping is better than than 3.5x in blind versus blind, or whatever it is. Or limping the button is worse than raising the button. I think you have to be very humble and know that poker's unsolved, and know that there are a ton of different strategies that other people might be doing that might be really profitable for you. So, lesson of the day: be open-minded, be humble. Nice. Put smoking rights. Yeah, I, every morning I would wake up and tell myself in the mirror why I wanted to put smoking out loud. And I would repeat sort of like saying, 
you're gonna be tonight you might drink a beer and it's gonna be tough to smoke and you're gonna convince yourself that smoking's okay but it's not because you wanna quit like that really every day twice. Good. That really helped. That's really impressive. You are one of the few ones that aren't studying GGI to so have good results at the highest level. Yeah, there's not not many of us. That, I'm not the only one for sure. All right, guys, so we limp call pre, check called, I think a quarter on the flop, check, check, turn. What are we doing on the river? One to check, two to bet. And if we're betting, how much are we betting? All right, we got one, 237%, 27K. So what you want to be, really <laughs> nipple. What you want to be asking yourself here is, like, what can you get value from? What are you trying to get value from? And the answer is a jack. Pocket tens, an eight, maybe a four. And what kind of sides would they call? Checking doesn't make too much sense to me because all of those hands, like eight x pocket tens, they're just going to be checking back themselves. So we have to be deciding what what would they call. You can definitely go big and kind of polarize reps and bluffs, so you can go smaller, um, try and get value from you know crying calls and stuff. <sighs> I don't think going huge is good because we our hand isn't always good. You know, we, he can still have aces, he can still have kings, he can still have ace jack. Um, and generally don't want to go huge if you're kind of in the middle of the calling range with your value hand. Um, it's not quite the middle, but you, you get what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards something like a healthy 20, 26K, 22K, something like that. 22K, like to see it. Man, this makes me want to play tournaments again. I miss it. The good thing here is that we do actually have quite a few bluffs. You know, if we have something that, you know, like King 10 is in there. Ace X with the Ace of Hearts is definitely one of them. Maybe some smaller flush draws that want to bluff. That means we can go a lot bigger than we might otherwise have to go. Ooh. One to fold. Two to call. Cool, three to shove. One to fold, two to call, three to shove. Yeah, it's just fold. Yeah, I was afraid of that happening. Just to fold. That really blows. I wonder if the... That's a, that, that shows the mindset between me and Lex. I would never even consider him raising. I'd just be like, he's not raising, fuck it. He checked back the turn. He, what's he going to be rapping, fucking? If, if he raises here, I'm just snap folding. I might, I might not snap. I'd five second fold. It has to do with a small flop I thought I checked calls. Well, <sighs> Interestingly enough, blocking the flush draws that might bluff isn't isn't relevant or is actually kind of good these days because uh, people don't bluff their missed flush draws now. So weird. Yeah, you expect to see a lot of boats here, or maybe some like Queen X that decided to go for it. It'd be a very interesting play if he's got like Queen Five suited to go this size after he sees Lex go small. It'd be very very exploit. I wouldn't expect to see it at all, but it'd be a fascinating play. Um, I don't know if it'd be any good, but it'd be cool. Uh, so yeah, just fold. We have so much Queen X in our range. We have 10-9. He's be not bluffing. gonna be bluffing. King of Hearts, not great. Blocks flush draws. Um, yeah, see, I don't know how relevant that is. A right, so it queen X seems to be a good one. The so Queen, the Queen X and the 10-9 is very, uh, really very important. We, all, we also have pocket eights because he went so small in the flop. So we have eight, 10-9, which might be all of the combos of 10-9, might be like 16 combos or 15 if we raise the hearts on the flop. Uh, and then all of the queen eggs, it's not, not even close. Hey. GTO would call this low frequency. I, I would bet a lot of money that it wouldn't. I'd bet a lot of money that it would, it would call it 0%. Mm. Nice three bet. Good to see he's sticking to his ranges, even though he's uh, losing. I, I actually would have just flat pre. Um, I get. I have a much. I don't know if you, if any of you watched my my video with Ben CB. I have a much lower variance style when it comes to tournaments. I really think that when you have an edge on a tournament, especially, you want to be playing low variance. However, Lex at this table probably doesn't have an edge. He's probably losing because everyone's so fucking good at poker. Um, so taking these higher variance spots is, from Lex's position is is, uh, is probably makes more sense. All right, one to check, two to bet. It's not super important, so we're not gonna 
You're 14, 15 at chess and not studied at all. I got up to 2030 without studying chess. Come at me, bitch. 2030 on chess.com. Yeah, boys. Yeah, that's right. You're trying, you're trying to story me. I'm going to story talk, bitch. I think I'm leaning towards a bet. A small bet. I think I bet something along the lines of 6 BB, 7 BB. We get value from it, there, like King Jack of clubs and shit like that. Um, we're never getting raised, as far as I'm aware. I don't think we'll ever get raised here. Um, and we, we we just get to deny some equities in my lands. Uh, but checking checking's obviously fine as well. There could even there could even be some times where we get to bluff them off uh, ten. You know, if if the turn comes like a king, uh, we might we might even be able to turn a hand into a bluff if we bet. I guess we could do that for check as well. No, you know, I take back that last statement. I can't think of any time that we turn this into a bluff. Take it back. Check checking's completely oh, reasonable. Fucking terrible turn, holy fucking shit. Yeah, it doesn't get worse than that. King Jack, King Queen Jack is pretty much the fucking worst because a lot of their calling ranges, you know, King Queen suited, King Jack suited, Queen Jack suited, Jack down suited, those sort of things are in there. There's way more hands than that, but they are very prevalent in that range. So check down, everyone have eight. King Queen on the turn is kind of makes me check down. Everyone have eight. Hit nine. Squirm. Ace. Something. Interestingly enough, if the river's an ace, I might not even go for value on the river, which is a wild thing to say. You know, if the river's an ace and they both checked me, I might not even go for value. Wild, wild shit. Uh, this might be trouble, but... Oh, do we rep ace king? We, we're the only ones that can have ace king here. Interesting guys, one to check, two to bet. And if you're betting, how much are you gonna bet? Get your answers out in the chat. So if I'm me, I'm checking here 100%. Because nobody in their right mind is folding a fucking uh, king to me. I know that. I know that they're not. There's no fucking way they're folding a king to me. However, uh, Under the Gun cannot have Ace King because they're so, so short pre. We're the only ones that can have Ace King. However, if I'm Lex, I'm more open to shoving. It has to be a shove or a check. Any anything less than shove is uh, is no good. And then the the two players will have to kind of mix their king X and decide which ones they want to call. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. If I'm unsure, I lean more towards the check, just because high variance is the shoving one. But that being said, I know myself, and I can't help myself from bluffing. So I don't know what I do, and I won't I won't fault him for anything here. I think I want to shove. Love it. I the fact the fact that he's doing it, I love it. it takes some cojones to do this in a 25k. Oh, neither of them had a king. That's so nice. So nice that nobody had a king. They can both have king queen. They can both have king ten. What is this nonsense? Uh, that might be it for king x that they have. To be fair, king ten suited in uh, three qualifiers to this. It might actually be fewer king x than I, I anticipated. Because King Jack's bet in the turn. Okay, yeah, he did get a ticket. Ah. But still, it takes cojones. Once you have the ticket, you've still spent 25k. <laughs> you know. It's nothing different from playing a 2k than a 25k with a stable. It's a, it's a very tough table bar one player. And of course, by that, I'm saying Naza sucks at poker. <laughs> I mean, I've seen him make some pretty huge punts in some final tables, and I'm just putting it out there now. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're, we're looking at we're looking at this on the flop. Do we want to go the sides? It's a very GTO size. Uh, <laughs> by the way, guys, if anyone doesn't get sarcasm, which I found out is actually pretty uh, common in my Twitch chat, Nas is very good at poker. Well, I have seen him punt. <laughs> He's probably seen me punt about three times more. So the GTO size is probably to go this, because uh, he's simplifying and he's saying like, hey, I'm using big sizes on this board because all these normal reasons like range advantage and equity advantage and things like that. Um, from a, an exploitative size, I think I'm, I'm preferring to go smaller here. I like to keep pots pretty small unless I have some pretty knotted hands. Uh, or some big bluffs that I want to be, you know, taking multiple streets. In these kind of spots, at least, that's that's the case. Um, 
you know, you want to get calls from something if he has like nine deuce of clubs. You don't want to be losing. Like he'll he'll probably just uh, he will just fold nine deuce of clubs on on the flop to one bet here. Uh, even some like ten deuce of clubs uh, can talk itself into folding. So I, yeah, I think I'm just uh, smaller. Smaller to me seems almost um, super obviously better. Any tips tips playing out of position pots, three bet pots? Um, I'm ready to battle. Like play big pots with the big hands, small pots with the small hands. I'm really ready. I'm and really ready. Buy my masterclass on at charliecarroll.com. I'm really ready. Like, I feel it's like. I feel that I don't give a fuck. I really feel that I don't give a fuck running through. In the gaff. Right it's a good place to be. You have to want to win, but you have to not care if you lose. I can't play any differently in this one than I would in another tournament. Strategy, strategy, rolling. Whoa, all in. I forget that people do this. I forget people do this. I don't like it. I gotta be honest. I my bet is that in five years time people will, won't be doing this anymore. That would be my big estimate. <laughs> uh, I'm ne I'm ace king suited especially. I'm never four bet shipping it. I don't care what your solvers say. I don't care what the hell the new meta strategy is. I'm never shipping sixty bigs. Four bet shipping sixty bigs ace king. Uh, I want a four bet or I want a call. I can mix between the two. You know, if it's a really soft table, I'll lean more towards calling. If it's a tough table, and I, especially if I get to re-enter, if I bust, I'll lean more towards four betting. For shoving, it's just like, fold out all the worst ends. <laughs> you know, you, you get to take down the 11 big blinds in the middle for sure, but you just, uh, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Wish you's got tens. No. Or oh, it's just multi tabling. Did I get the message you sent through your site? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. So it looks like we defended pre. Wait, wait what happened? We raised pre, and after he limped. Yeah. Okay. He he limped cool pre. Good to know. Good to know. What are you doing and why, boys? What are you doing and why? This is actually going to be quite an educational one. I feel it. Don't just give me a two. Don't just give me a two. Come on, we're better than that. We've got through this. There we go. 66%. 11K. Two. No, not just two. 8K. A third. Guys, here's why. I'm going to make an argument for betting a third. First of all, it looks very reasonable that we could be doing this with a strong hand because we can still get all in by the river. Second of all, we get a cheap showdown. Uh, a cheap bluff, sorry. We get a cheap bluff. We get to fold out a bunch of hands. Third of all, range analysis. What can we make fold after his limp call pre with a third pot or even a quarter pot or just over a quarter pot bet, like 7K, 7.8K? Uh, I guess that's a third. That's nearer a third. No, it's not. 7. Point, that'd be 8K. So maybe maybe it's something like 7.3K, somewhere in between a quarter and a third. What do we make fold? We make him fold his ace X, which is a ton if he has ace through deuce, ace three, ace four, ace five. We get to fold him off his king x suited, king two suited, king three suited, king four suited, his queen x suited, queen five suited, queen four suited. Hands like that, very, very worth knowing. Um, what else do we get him to fold? Maybe that's it, maybe some pocket deuces and hands like that if he doesn't let him shove him free. But that's about it. But there's a ton of combos. And then by the turn, if we've gone small, he still has a pretty fucking weak range. He might still have some seven x, he might still have some eight x. You know, if it turns anything juicy or anything non-juicy, even an offsuit deuce, we can still go for it and try and target some of his other hands. We get a nice decision, but I don't like the idea of going. I don't like the idea of going bigger. The stacks are kind of weird for it. You uh, you're making the same things fold by going a third or a quarter than you do if you go two thirds. Uh, so go go small. Oh, eh, oh. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And we're checking down. If you're doing anything else, you're crazy. Check, 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 check. Hope to see 7 5 or A6 or whatever. That's good. a really good price. Good river. Mm, I mean. And if I know Spraggy, and I know Spraggy, he ain't fighting enough bluffs here. 
it's very hard to find enough bluffs here as uh, as from Sprague's point of view because most of your hands have a pair, you know, and or they have some kind of like ace high showdown value. Is he going to be turning his ace tens into a bluff? You know, if he has that free, I don't know. I don't know if he will, but it's very hard to find enough bluffs here considering how much he's going to be like small betting his like eight x, uh, maybe his like ace sevens, uh, and his jack x, and his flushes and straights. Not in the sense where he might be more comfortable value betting an eight. It's also really hard for him to have nothing, right? So very good range queen analysis. Nine, queen ten. Queen nine, queen ten are the two candidates. Not great for me to have this. Agreed. So I'd rather, like, for instance, if he bets the river, I'd rather King queen off. Great candidate. Side. King queen off is a very good candidate. I didn't think of king queen off. Uh, and then maybe some king ten suiteds in there. You know, he's got some other stuff. But I didn't. I forgot about the sixteen combos of king queen off, which is very relevant. Thank you very much, the debugger. Um, so now, given that information, it's actually a pretty tough spot. I think I'm going to end up calling just because you mentioned King Queen off. I'm done. For this size, I just have to call. Oh, a boat. 25k lobby. It's not too bad for 25k. I think people call King Queen off enough. We have uh, 22. I'd be so very surprised to see anyone fold it on the floor. This hand, most likely. Already only eight handed, so you know, if somebody falls and somebody's not there, it's six handed with the rest of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven added. Very easy show for us. What's up, Ryder? What's up, Rocky? Is it time to win flips? Yes, boys! Fuck you, Spraggy! Yes! I said earlier, it really fucking blows us against Spraggy, but. Nah, you I'm don't mean really it. We, we saw Lex's acting earlier. We, we know exactly what's going on in Lex's mind. He doesn't mean that. Oh, it really uh, sucks to win that flip against Spraggy. It's really uh, it's really tough on my emotion. Sorry, Spraggy. I like the dynamic that Ben Ben Heath and I used to have in high rollers. If we knocked each other out, which happened a lot, it was always me knocking him out, but occasionally he'd get me. Which would be like, ha, 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 I got you, you little fucking idiot. What are you doing calling with that? What, was that a set? You think that was good against my other set? Idiot. It was, it was a lot more fun. It's a double-bladed, double-edged sword. Like winning the pot against Spy. Super happy that my tournament starts like that. See, and now I tell him sorry. And we go spray Man, well. that ace jack from Pyle is another the level. Fucking juiced that was, up asshole. That was crazy bad. It's like sorry for what it is. It means sorry. It's sorry, it has to be you. I will never. If a, if a five and L player made that call with ace jack, I'd be shocked. But he, he's a mixed game player, so you know. <laughs> Top pairs a lot when you're playing limit hold'em. Jesus Christ, such a piece too. GG Spregs. GG oh, Spregs. 25k, 34 of blinds. I'd be tempted to fold this pre. I don't know if I actually would, but if I'm Lex, I'd be tempted to fold it. Now I'm folding. That's loose. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be fucking with you here. That's loose. All right, guys, we've we've already uh, I think punted pre. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure on that, but I, I personally would just never call that. Um, with with this smaller two SPR, it's uh, it's pretty wild. <laughs> leave mixed gamers alone. Sorry about this. You guys just tend to suck at all the fun games. <laughs> um, wait, doesn't mixed games involve no limit hold'em? Bye face. Come on, dude. All right. We've we've got here on the we've got on the flop. What are we doing? Why are we one to checking or are we two to betting? If we're betting, how much we're we betting? Get your answers out in the chat, boys. Hundred percent a consideration to bluff here. You can never win this hand if you don't bluff. Uh, so it's definitely not an easy check for sure. Like the the only way to win this hand is to is to bet or it goes check check and we hit something on the river. Yeah, the pro the problem is the bluffs that we do have. I mean, there there are six combos of, of king jack suited and queen jack suited because two of them are flushes. We do have six combos of bluffs there, and the thing is, if we're not using our you know our pocket eights or something like that, then we're actually really under bluffing, you know, because we do we do have ace queen, we have pocket aces, we have pocket tens, uh, we have pocket nines, we have pocket sevens. 
Uh, we have Ace-10 suited, three combos of that. Ace-9 suited, it's probably in there. Three combos of that. Yeah, there's a lot of value hands. I'm probably bluffing it. I'm probably bluffing it, especially his legs. I think I think Ben CB would assume that I'm going to put in enough of my seven eights or pocket eights or whatever he thinks I'll turn up with preflop. Um, but I think his legs, I, I turn this into a bluff. Just go like 30k, shove river for pot. Oh, sorry, three quarters pot. This is to pull. Easy check, cool. No, about it, man. I mean, we're not folding. Um, I'll be very tempted to shove, but don't know about it. Ooh, we leading. No, no, we're not leading. <laughs> if I had... I can't think of a single fucking hand I'm leading here. One sec. <laughs> uh, if I'd slow play the king, queen of clubs on the turn, maybe I'd lead. Uh, but apart from that, I don't think I'm leading anything. Queen of Hearts one time. I mean, yeah, King Queen of Hearts is shoving itself, bro. Sorry, sorry to give you the bad news. Interesting size on the river there by Ben CB. I like it. I like it a lot. Good shove. Defend fives. Love to see it. So cool. Don't lead. Don't do it. Don't do it. Nice. Shout out to uh, Spiros. I did not know with a one. Welcome to the Martian Kingdom, guys. We're watching your favorite streamer, me. Nah. We're watching your favorite streamer rate your second favorite streamer. Uh, how good he is uh, at poker and teaching you guys how to be fucking sick crushers. We've already done Doug Polk and Seth and Sotimer. Uh, I think that was it for today. And this will be the last one for today, I think. I think I'm getting a bit sleepy. Anyway, thanks, brother. I don't know who you are, but if you're a poker streamer, have at it. Thank you. Please tell me more about yourself. Familiarize myself. Wait, how big do you bet on 10? <sighs> See, this makes me think it's more value heavy. And the reason for that is bluffs don't need to go this big. You know, if I'm bluffing here, I'm just trying to fold them off fucking like ace highs. You know, I'm trying to get him to fold like a6 of clubs, you know, those kind of hands. And with value, I'm, I'm just trying to get more value against hands like pocket fives or 3x. Like if I have pocket eights, I'm trying to, I'm trying to just do that. Bad read me. Bad read me. Fuck me, man. That's very unfortunate. I don't like his size in the queen jack gun. Ah yeah. oh, damn man, that's such an expensive hand. Fuck my life. Look at that shit. I will I will say that having been in this situation a lot from Lex's perspective, I know that if I'm feeling like this, I'm not gonna be playing good poker. Uh, or at least not great poker. Like I, if I'm emotional about losing a hand, and that happens to me, you know, it happens to everyone. Uh, but if I'm emotional about losing a hand, it's I'm right not there. not in a good place to crush. I'm really gonna break my hand once on this desk, you know what I'm You, nev you never see someone winning a tournament whilst they're fucking tilting. <laughs> You'd think statistically it's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, just always shoving here. There's arguments if it's like cut off and button to start flatting aces here, but always shoving when you're this, uh, this early position. Get everyone in. Lex is tilted 100% of the time. Is that, uh, is that true? Ugh. So 15 bigs. Um, there's an argument for raising instead of shoving. I, I'd probably just open. I'm not. I'm not so big on the whole big shoves um, from the, these kind of positions. I don't know if there's any hand I would shove actually. Don't know about it. I might just uh, use some big raises like 2.6x with these kind of hands, and then some some other kind of bluffs that I want to open. 
I'm, I'm, I'm actually a very big advocate of doing this, especially in short, uh, in low stakes tournaments. You don't want to be using these kind of big shoves because people are still going to be making so many mistakes against you post flop and more mistakes if they like reshove deuces or something like that. There's just a ton of shit that can happen. Uh, whereas if you're doing this, it, it's very easy to play against this and it's very high variance as well. Why 2.6x? Because, you know, you, you don't want to incentivize them to call like ludicrously wide. Um, you still want to be raising a pot and you're, you're not going to be raising as a bluff too often. And when that happens, you can get away with a uh, bigger. Shows this emotion. That's why I get so many views. I, I respect that. You know, if you're tilted, you, you, you got to show it. Hold. All right. Yeah, we win. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Would I consider streaming MTT's MTC singles myself? I will. In fact, I plan to do it very soon because I'm uh, starting filming today for an MTT masterclass. Oh. Me heart's beating up me throat. Teach people how to win the, the small stakes and the mid stakes. All right, guys. One to fold, two to call, three to shove. Get you runces out in the chat, boys. All right. And I've got a second question for you now. Second question for you. What is the worst, I repeat, the worst pocket pair that you would reshove in this position? Get your answers out in the chat. What is the worst pocket pair you'd shove in this position? This is a very good teaching technique to see where everyone's at. I think my answer is eights. I'm going eights is the answer. I think nines is definitely too wide. Sevens, sevens is the only other possible correct answer, I think. Uh, sixes is too wide. So it's, it's either going to be sevens or eights, and it, it feels like it's going to be eights. Yeah, he's shoving, so he's still, you know, he's only got, he's only got 10 eggs. He's still got all his big pairs in his range. Uh, and we have, you know, this guy to get behind uh, to get through as well. Uh, I would I would shove his jacket, though. I would definitely shove his jack. He's going to be shoving a ton of just like king jacks, king queens, ace six suited. You know, I don't know if he's going to shove ace six suited, but like ace nine suited, hands like that. We're, we're doing well. Oh. I really thought we were about to shove. Oh. Actually, since the fault that might be way too tight. Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I started doubting myself instantly. As soon as I saw him fold that, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Just saying, would have gone shove, shove, fold, we win. Double up, boom, or 10 bigs. Peace, brother. Peace, brother. Insta fold, please. Like, never seen Man, see, in this spot, I'm always hoping for them to call. There's not, a, there's not a single bone in my body that's begging for them to fold in this spot. I'll beg them to fold if I'm doing it with like King Five suited. <laughs> but when I have King Queen, I'm just like, please, for the love of God, call. Come on, give me a flop. Give me what I want to see. Like and that, that was actually always the difference between me and Ben when he and I were playing up stakes. I would, he would always be annoyed if someone like flat his open and he had jack 10 suited in a high roller. I'd be so happy to see it. I'd be like, I get to fucking try and outplay someone with jack 10 suited, let's fucking go. Oh, the tank. Yeah, the tank's always a shove. Swap defend two cents. What's that? Is that 25 bigs? Tw 24 bigs. 24 blinds. Is that what that means? Somebody tell me. I gotta know. Alright guys, want to check two to bet. What are you doing in the chat? And if you're saying two, what size are you betting? Yeah, I'm leaning towards the check myself. Uh, if you bet, you probably want to go a size that eights is gonna fall to, so like 22k or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm leaning leaning towards a bet. Uh, check, sorry. You definitely, it's definitely not the worst hand in the world to be betting. You know, you got your ace, you got your fours, you got a shot, but I'll, I'll, I'll take a check. It's just hard to get through three people. Through one. Through two. Oh, now you win the pot. Now you just win the pot. Unless he's got unless he's got king jack plus. You're winning this pot. Maybe queen jack plus. Uh oh. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. If anyone's thinking anything but fold here, get out of here. Get out of here. 16 bigs, like to see the raise. Wait, do I actually? It's pretty brutal. I don't know if I do. Wait, do I just like, do I just shove them? How many bigs is, wait, he might click it. 
uh, 17 bigs. Yeah, I'll just raise it. Just raise it. I think 16 is the borderline where you want to start shoving it. 17, you want to just raise it. It's a very quick C bet. I'm not going to talk about the C bet sizing too much. Generally, generally, my thought is I just want to go a size that I know his 3x is going to call, and then I'm just going to barrel it off on the turn, and it's 9x maybe, depending on the turn. But there's there's loads of arguments for loads of different sizes. It's okay, it's okay. If Ben opens, we shove. If he shoves, we call. If he opens, we shove. If they both fold, we shove. So. I don't know if I shove this. Um. Yeah, I do. I shove. Yeah. So we're pretty much gonna be guaranteed all in here. Had to think about it for a second because he's gonna be open a little bit tighter with two shove stacks ahead. But you got you got to shove it. He's gonna be open all those fucking nice six seven students and whatnot. And we're getting slow rolled. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben CB. GG. Well, the video is not over. I thought we at least dropped it. I guess we play it again. Oh, GG, Ben. GG. All right, all right. Do we play it again? Would have loved this tournament again. You only have to say the word overlay once to that. Ah, it's got overlay, so it's rebuying. Look stretching this. this one out. I think I'm all in. I think so you're all in too, this, brother. This opportunity presents itself to me. These guys don't know. I yeah, mean, it's harder to get, get money on GG. Actually, yeah, I can get see. tournament money on Conor GG. Don't do it. Could do that. Have you know that I have Ace King now? Good open. Like the not shoving. Very good. Blinds. 4K to see what happens. I like the shove. Very good. Dollars in that tournament. We've uh, defended. Min raise pre, by the looks of it. I like it. Check cool, good. Five bounty wallop. I know you guys want to see the 55 bounty while I'm playing uh, <laughs> a hand like that in the 25k. But wait, it'll be worth it. I need to time back anyway to make my bluff believable. I'm not bluffing, you see, but if I say bluff out loud. I like the size. I like the sizing on the river. This is gonna be a kind of polarized a little bit more than you actually are. I will definitely Might get some fucking heroes bit, from eight. Uh, disappointed if he does have I think most of his better hands will bet twice and check anyway. I do expect he would have called with that by now. He could still be time banking a raise or an ace high call. Wouldn't that be great? Ace high is definitely possible. That's actually what we're going for here. Yes, and boys. There and there it is. Yes, boys. Lex bundle, ladies and gents. Lex bundle. What do you have? What do you have? Wow. What do you have? I will be limping in. Oh. I, I hate right. not I hate not knowing what they had. And there's something in me that's very obsessive about wanting the data of what people start calling. Here we go. I like the limb cool. Nothing to say. Oh, this is 25, 35k. Uh, Must have been a different life. Here, so a lot of the high stakes players will be purely check raising this. Um, I think there's arguments to go check call as well. I think in this exact spot, I'm actually going to go check call. If it's even a Jack Fordus flush draw, I think I'm check raising it. But with the with the with the rainbow, the only cards we don't want to see are Ace and King. And even then, we're probably just fucking calling down. Um, so let's fucking go. This board is drier than the fucking Sahara Desert. <laughs> drier than Gandhi's flip flop. I think yeah, I think I, I really prefer just check, just check call in here. Let, check him, let him barrel off. Have to ask for a better boards here. Blind versus blind. Uh, shoving turn, I guess. Nice. Got some fairy me bones. It's very I sad when you idea. when you start getting near to the end of the video. And you're like, disaster is coming. <laughs> the end is nigh. I don't think it's what time maybe's. I want to fight. I would definitely three bet this against a recreational player. I assume, which is the color I use for recreational player. I appreciate this. I just three bet it. I think we just get squeezed behind too much. I get that he's ugly. One to bet, two to check, uh, one to check, two to bet, if you're betting, how much you're betting, boys, or oh, Ruba. I'm actually just gonna go with a bet here. I think that Spaze is gonna be check folding most of the time here. Recreational players will bet their pocket aces here and they'll check all the air. 
So we only really have Crazy Lissy to get through. Uh, I'm probably just gonna go third and then just barrel off on pretty much every run out. Or oh, half is wild. What are you trying to fold out with half? I guess you're going for his like queen tens and stuff. A step, I block really strong jack x combos. I block king our flush rolls. I guess I don't mind half as much as I thought I did. Good turn. Not good enough to bet though. Check. Cool. Sorry, this is getting a lazy analysis, but <laughs> it's not the it's not the most interesting spot. All right, guys, this is this is interesting. We'll uh, we'll even make a poll for this one because that's that's pretty rough. It's pretty fucking rough. Uh, poll. New poll. Punt or no punt. Cool. Fold. Guys, get your answers out in the chat, boys. Are we calling? Are we folding? Let's get the hand out one more time just so we can see what's going on. Are we calling or are we folding? When open, call, call, check, bet half, call, fold, check, bet a third, call, check, shove for whatever that is, 70% pot. Get your answers out in the chat. Man, it's pretty mixed. Looking pretty 50-50. It's a tough one, huh? I'm folding, so you know. I don't, I don't. I can't think of a single fucking bluff he can have. Sorry if I've tipped the scales on the pole a little bit. Last second. <laughs> I can't think of a single bluff he turns out with. Name a bluff. Ace eight with the ace of clubs is ace eight offsuit, and that does not flat preflop. <laughs> Name a bluff. Ace ten with the ace of clubs probably folds to the half pot on the flop. 8-9 suited, could be in there, but very likely just folds on the flop to half pot. 7-6 is the most likely hand. There are three combos of, of bluffs, sorry. There are three combos of 7-6 suited. One of them is a flush. No, it's like, there are four, but one of them is a flush. So three bluffs. Uh, so I, I think it's a pretty clear fold. Now let's, let's count value combos for a second. He's got... One combo of Queen Jack, worth noting. He's probably got aces, so I don't know how often he does that with aces. Like in one combo of aces, just in case he flats it. Um, maybe he always three best aces. I forgot that he opened actually. He's got ace six, ace seven, ace nine of clubs, ace 10 of clubs. Uh, he's got pocket eights, he's got pocket fives. Um, He's got jack 10 of clubs, maybe jack 9 of clubs, 10-9 suited, forgot about that one. So he's got four combos of 10-9 suited. So I've counted three combos of bluffs and like a million of, uh, of value, so I'm, I'm folding it. That's easy folds. Nice. Yes, take him away. Fucking hit a run, like the old days. I guess I'll do some squats. Lex, uh, Lex sounds I'm defeated, I gotta be it. honest. He doesn't sound like he, he want, he's, uh, two, seven, he's in the winning three, mindset. Three. It's easier to say when I can see the video is almost over. <laughs> oh, oh yes. not the small Actually, three bet. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know about it now. Oh, the small three bet. Is it ever a bluff? What bluffs is he using here? Like ace, deuce of spades? I don't know if he's doing it. I don't know, and he's not taking his fucking like king tens because it blocks all the, like the tens are horrible cards because it blocks all our race folds. Oh, I don't know about it. Oh, that feels horrible. Nines is all you can hope for. I don't even know if he would do it with nines. It just doesn't make any sense because we never have deuces. We never open here with deuces. Oh, can we fold? Oh, I don't know. It is a small three bet. Anything less than all in is a small three bet. Oh, it, I am biased. That's a hundred percent true. I am biased, but I've made some crazy folds in these kinds of spots before. And I don't know if he turns up with Ace King or if what if he turns up with. But oh, 
I don't know. Never consider calling it. No, you, you've either, either got a fold or shove. And theoretically, it's always a shove here. There's never anything that any soul will say apart from shove because you'd be the most exploitable motherfucker in all the lands. That being said, man, I've the amount of times that I've seen people do this as anything that isn't aces, kings, or queens is so small. And the amount of times I've seen people do it with aces and kings is so big. So I'm not gonna fault him for doing anything here. I'll be very impressed if he folds, even though I'm not sure if it's the best thing, because to go so much with your reads would be amazing. Uh, I don't, it doesn't look like he's gonna fold, because it's near the end of the video. I just don't know if he's ever doing this as a, as a bluff. That's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. That's unfortunate, they found the higher pair again. I don't know, man. That's, uh, that's about. fine. That's fine. You know what I really- Is there any value in doing that with something that isn't aces and kings? It has to be, it has to literally be ace, deuce, ace, three, ace, four, ace, five. And I don't know if I've ever seen it. You don't want to be choosing anything higher because it starts blocking all of their race faults. You know, if you start even using like ace nine, you're blocking all the 10, nine suiteds, eight, nine suiteds. I don't know. Don't know about it, man. I don't know about it. Guys. Get your out of 10s out in the chat. Get your analysis out in the chat. How has Lex played throughout this whole series? And I'll give mine after you guys give it. Out of 10. Played a queen's hand. Played another queen's hand. Played this hand. He played that terribly. <laughs> uh, three bet the ace nine. Checked it down. Shoved when rep an ace king. That was pretty, that was pretty boss. Uh, four bet shoved this. Not something I would do, but definitely something solvers will tell you to do. Play this hand. Almost stacked Spraggy. Love to see it. This hand. Good shove. Good double. Open shove the nines. That was that was something I wasn't a big fan of. Hmm, interesting stuff. I will give Lex for this performance 7.8 out of, out of 10. Give him a 7.8 for that.